and I'm just going to talk about salsify here real quick. Yeah. This is also called oyster root, mm -hmm. as I said before. Um, and basically, I'm just going to come in and peel this guy. You see how white it is on the inside Yeah, super there. white. So um, tell me about salsify. Why is it considered the oyster vegetable or whatever, whatever you call it? Well, really, just because of the flavor mm -hmm. itself. Um, and it is interesting. It, it kind of has the texture of a carrot and crossed with an artichoke, oh, um, which is kind of weird. Um, and there's kind of a, an interesting way to cook it. Um, this also will oxidize super quickly. Okay. Um, so, and I'm just going to kind of demonstrate this. We have some um, that's already cooked. Mm -hmm. um, but if you were going to clean a lot of this, you would go right into acidulated water. All right. Same um, as the artichoke. Yeah. So I'm just going to cut this. I'm just going to dip it really quick. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to come right over here, put this in here. And if you want to go ahead and pour the milk right over top of it. All of it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, and then I will turn this up a little bit. So that's cold milk. A lot of times we cook our root vegetables cold to hot. Um, and so I'm just going to add a little salt to this. You do that so they cook more evenly? Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, and so with salsify, once that comes up to simmer, it's going to be pretty close. And then from there, it's just kind of feel. Okay. Right? Um, so next, we're going to go ahead and start. Um, and we're going to do this kind of in two parts. Um, I'm going to demonstrate it for time-wise. This is what you would call a bear gold. Um, a bear gold. Yes, which is uh, an oyster cooking liquid. Mm. Um, so, I'm not familiar with this term. And so it's really carrot, celery, onions. It's just mirepoix with vegetable stock. All right. Um, and you would add your raw, after you sweat out your vegetables, you would add your raw artichokes to it. Mm -hmm. and then just cover them with veg stock and simmer them. Nice. Um, but we're going to kind of jump up a, a quick process there. Uh, and we'll, we'll use a little ones that we have pre-cooked. Uh, Beautiful oyster mushrooms. Yep, so these are oyster mushrooms. Um, Nicole, if you would just add a little oil to that this middle one? pot. Yep, yep, and you can kind of crank that heat if you would. Okay. All right, so over here I've just kind of taken the roots off my oyster mushroom. Um, and I'm just going to kind of break them up a little bit. Now, Bolit, your restaurant, Bolit, or your restaurant Bolit, was named after a mushroom. Yep. You use mushrooms every single time you're on the show. I love how you're always consistently on brand. <laughs> but how are things going over there? They're, they're going pretty well. <laughs> um, we're uh, just kind of trudging along. We're on our 12th year. Wow, congratulations. Uh, yeah, it's pretty it's amazing. It's a long time. I say it's kind of like dog years. Everyone yeah. counts for seven. <laughs> yeah, so. for sure. <laughs> That's the way it feels. Um, all right, so we're just going to get a little sear. These, you can actually, these could be poached. You don't necessarily oh, really? have to caramelize it for this dish okay. itself. Um, but we're just going to get them in there, let that the oyster kind of, that umami flavor just mm -hmm. get out in the oil. Um, next, I'm going to leave this right here. I have sliced a little bit of garlic. We're going to add this right in. Um, these are some sliced cipollinis. Okay. Um, and then we're going to go, I have some celery that we kind of sliced on the bias. Nice. Um, I use some of the inner um, stalks mm -hmm. so that it's really nice and tender. Okay. Let's add that to there. Um, a little baby carrots. Love all the right different in. colors. Yep. And this is, you'll see, you know, this is a really great it's a great tasting dish. Yeah. But it's actually pretty healthy. You For know? sure. It's kind of you always kind of strike a nice balance between flavor and, and health factor. I mean, you always cook with a lot of fresh vegetables. Yes. And I, you know, I think it's kind of the way to go. This is the taste of, of earth and life. Absolutely. And so you want yeah. to kind of stay true to that. Totally. Um, okay. So I think we have everything here that we're going to put in. We'll add some cooked artichokes towards the end once that sweats out a little All bit. Right. Um, I might actually just take. Um, I always love to add a little bit of acid, and we'll season as we go, too. I'm just going to add a pinch or two of salt in there. Uh, and the salt kind of helps bring the moisture of the uh, vegetables out. It helps bring your flavors together. Um, mm -hmm. And I think it's important to season as you go, you know, so that it really melds everything together. So I'm just adding a little lemon juice there, oh, great. Um, a little sherry vinegar. Yeah. 15 right. minutes. Um, and then we can go ahead. How's it looking? Sweating out nicely. So now, all right, we'll let that sweat just a touch more. Okay. Um, um, as this sweats down, we'll just add the artichokes and then a little bit of veg stock to cover it. Okay. Um, and then we'll come back to the oysters at the end. 
Um, okay, Nicole, if you want to go ahead and add some the artichokes in there. Mm -hmm. All of them? Yep, you can dump them all in there. And then this is our veg stock here, if you okay. just want to give us probably about an inch at the bottom. Perfect. So let's turn this down. You got to be careful with your milk because it can boil over pretty yes, quick. It and it's it's nice that, that we actually that if you caught put, that. Um, if you put a spoon over it like that, it'll never boil over. I have not heard that trick. Yeah, and try I'm it. definitely going to try, try it. Yeah. I'm going to blow everyone's mind in the kitchen because of the I restaurant have had today. Milk boil over so many times and it really doesn't. Yeah, work. that's yeah. not <laughs> all right. Wooden spoon. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> we are just going to check our salsa mm -hmm. um, and you can kind of see. You wanted about fork tender. Is that what you're yep. looking for? Just and, like any other root vegetable. And you can kind of feel, see how it's mm -hmm. starting to bend? Yeah, there's a little give. We're just about there. All right. All right. So, Nicole, if you want, I have a little slice salsa fee over there. We can go ahead sure. and add that to our, uh, right, right into here. there. Yep. Um, I'm just going to give this a little taste. <clears throat> All right. A little bit more salt in there. A touch of sherry vinegar. So while we're doing that, why don't you go ahead and add the oysters to our oyster stew here. Okay. Um, one of the things too, I was being a little cautious with our seasoning. With all the brine? Yep, get it all in there because of the brine. So oh, I don't want to go sure. too much salt there or all of a sudden. Because that could put you way over way the edge. Way over the top. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're pretty much ready to go here. We're just going to add some spinach at the end and a little bit of parsley. Oh, this smells fantastic. And it's really, you can really... It's just one of those things where it blends so nice together. Yeah. And you have that oyster and the umani from the mushroom. Yeah. Really All right, so we're almost ready here. Why don't we grab the spinach? Okay. Um, and just a small handful we can kind of toss in there. Um, and then we'll do a little bit of parsley. Mm -hmm. All right. 